Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be ranking every single I Survived book. So let's get started. 26. I Survived the Attack of the Grizzlies, 1967. Okay, Lauren Tarsha, I mean, there's so many potential epic disasters, but you went up with the lamest one of them all. I mean, it's an interesting book, but like, why would you do this one? Nobody even talks about this one specifically. Like, why would you take this one and make it into a book? Like, oh, come on. 25. I survived true stories, courageous creatures. Do note that I'm not counting the, the language books in the graphic novels, by the way. Just want to let you know that. And I'm accounting the true stories, which are not that great. Starting with this one, because... This one isn't that great. It talks about, like, how creatures survived in disasters. Yay. And while it sounds interesting to some people, I don't think it's interesting because it just talks about creatures instead of humans, which, not that I hate hum um, creatures or anything, but honestly, it's kind of just not really, you know, it's kind of generic, and I just didn't like it at all. Sorry. 24. I survived true stories, nature attacks. Why? Why does this have to exist? We already have, um, you know, books all about these nature attacks. So why do we need a book separate for them? Like, this is really unnecessary. Like, come on, you could have done better than this. I have nothing else to say. This is really unnecessary. 23. I survived true stories, tornado terror. So this talks about tornadoes and stuff. And it's not that great. Like, I could think that it's a good idea, but we already have stories all about tornadoes, so I'm sorry, but I wouldn't be really interested in this one. 22. I Survived True Stories, Five Epic Disasters. The final True Stories book is talking about epic disasters that we already know. So I guess some we don't know, but I don't have never read this book, so I don't know. But, um, I don't think this is really interesting because we already have other stories that talk about disasters in historical fiction, so... This is not that great. 21. I survived the shark attacks of 1916. So, this was one of, uh, Lauren Tarsh's earlier I Survived books. I put this one low is because... I, I just put this low because it's, you know, it's not interesting. It's not really engaging people. It's... Just not a really a great book by any means, and honestly, people would rather read another I Survived book instead. 20. I Survived the Wellington Avalanche 1910. Now, you might be wondering, why am I putting this recent one bottom, like, very down on the list? Because it's just not that great by any means. And plus, I don't think anyone, like, really, like, remembered. I mean, it was the most deadliest avalanche of them all. But honestly, people would rather read another I Survived book than this because it wasn't a big number by any means. And plus, the book isn't that interesting. And honestly, it also was one of the fewer books that have girl leads. But, like, honestly, you would rather read another I Survived book than this one. 95 the children's blizzard 1888 so this is basically the story that takes place in the children's blizzard well that's fine and all i don't really know about that if it's great because honestly the children's blizzard wasn't really like the greatest disaster sure it destroyed it killed a lot of people from frost death bite i don't know but it's just not really authentic and it's just not really a book you would read i wouldn't really read it because it's just not that special 18 i survived the great mozellus flood 1919 i don't know if i said that right but like this is based on like a flood that happened 100 years ago and over 100 years ago and it was actually released in 2019 which meant 100 years ago well that's cool and all it's not really that great. I, in the last one, I should have said, like, it's not that great. But, and this one's also not that great. Both can be interchanged. I just put this one a little higher because it's a, a little bit more cooler. But it's based on a flood, which floods, wow, they're bad and all. I don't know if it's 
good. It's like a great disaster because other disasters like hurricanes and stuff are mo more cooler, but this one's just not really that cool. I'm sorry. 17. I survived the Joplin Tornado 2011. So this is kind of recent, even though it's still kind of old. But it's whatever. So, yeah, this is based on our tornado. And honestly, this is, like, this plot is kind of interesting. How this this kid, I forgot his name, sorry, want talks to, like, some, like, a person who studies, like, disasters and tornadoes and wants to see an actual one. And it wasn't a good idea. So, you know what could have been different is instead, like, the kid was watching the tornado and then bad things happen and he tries to run away from it. And while this happens in the story, I felt like the plot could be a little bit better. Sure, I like tornadoes and stuff like that and I feel bad for people though, but... Um, its plot could have been a little bit better. 16. I survived the Japanese Tsunami 2011. So, this is also another one that took place in 2011. Pretty interesting. And this one is about a Japanese Tsunami. And, uh, it's not really the greatest. Because it could have been a little bit better. But, like, its story and its depth is like kind of mixed for me 15 i survived hurricane katrina 2005 and this play takes place in 2005 and uh it's okay it's like very average it's like story is pretty good it's like okay and its depth is also okay it's like it's just not the greatest look i got nothing else it's just not really that Great. 14. I survived the American Revolution 1776. This is a pretty interesting one because this takes place during the beginning of the American Revolution. It's a bit different than like a disaster. So not only is it just based on disaster as this series, it's also based on like different kind of battles like this one. And uh, it's pretty interesting that they included this one. And I actually read it myself, and it was really good. I remember first reading it, and I loved it. And uh, while it's not the greatest, I still enjoyed it. 13. I survived the eruption of Mount St. Helens, 1980. So this was one of the most disastrous, disastrous, like, disasters ever. And it's actually the first I survived book to have a female lead instead, which is actually pretty interesting. So this is when it was, it was just so bad. It was cruel, it was sad for people to go. I honor it for them who died during this time. And I loved it. And even though I haven't read it myself, it looks pretty interesting to read. 12. I survived the Hinderberg disaster, 1937. This is based on an actual crash, and I love it. Sure, I'm sad that the people died during this crash, let's honor them. But I still enjoy it myself. It's a really good book about like a person who experienced this disaster and probably got, and this was changed his life forever or something. But, and I still like it. It's, it's sad, but also fun to read. 11, I survived the Great Chicago Fire, 1871. Did you know that Chicago was actually burnt down and then rebuilt? Yeah, I never knew that until later in my life. That was a pretty interesting fact when I came across it. Because it actually used to look uglier than usual. Horrible. But thanks to this fire, it was made more beautiful. And the fire and like its story, I meant to say, is really good. Because you get to experience a character who's in the fire and is trying to survive. Oh, gee, you better get out of there. 10. I survived the Battle of Gettysburg, 1863. So, this took place during the Civil War and is one of the most bloodiest battles ever. Disgusting stuff, I know, right? And I actually never really finished this book. I read a couple pages of it, but never got to finish it. It was sad because it's a really good book and very decent. All of it is is makes me love it all of the its characters all of its like 
battle sequences. I just love everything. I really wish I finished it, but I still enjoy it. 9. I Survived the Battle of the Day, 1944. I remember reading this book back in 7th grade, and it was really good. And its story, it's like how it like revolves around World War II, is so good. And, you know, it's just one of the most deadliest attacks out there. And it definitely captures what it was originally. 8. I survived the bombing of Pearl Harbor, 1941. Thanks to, you know, this attack, Americans got into World War II. I remember reading this book back a few years ago, and it was a really good book. It definitely showed what it was originally, and it just has so many sad stuff, but it really truly captures what it was back then in World War II. Like I said again, for the day one book as well. 7. I Survived the Galveston Hurricane 19 Obes. I don't know if I said that right, but this is the recent I Survived book. And it's the most deadliest disaster ever. Ugh. And it's even more deadlier than Hurricane Tr Tr Katrina. That's for sure. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know why I was not spelling it right. But it was the most insanest one. And even though I never read this book myself, it looks so cool. That's why I put it higher. Even though I never read it, 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 it probably looks interesting. And I'll probably read it to... Yeah, actually, let's never ask that question. But I still enjoyed this book, even if I never read it before. Six, I survived the California wildfires 2018. Yep, this is taking place in 2018, which is not far and not that old. And it's really one of the most deadliest disasters ever. It is a really good book. And sure, I never read it myself, but it looks so interesting that that's the reason why I put it in the top spot. And probably sold well. It's like a really interesting book that many people should read, including myself. And I'm going to become a young adult. Five, I survived the destruction of Pompeii, aid D. 79. This is the most oldest disaster ever. Very well known, and it's the oldest disaster of um, I Survived. And uh, it's a really good book, because if you haven't learned about Pompeii, now is your chance. Because this is a book that would make you very interested in researching Pompeii. I love it. 4. I Survived the Sinking of the Titanic, 1912. The very first I Survived book. And it's the most memorable one. I remember reading this book and I loved it because I learned things about the Titanic. And while well, yes, I learned Titanic from Poppy and Moe's more, I still learned a few more things. And I absolutely loved the book. And I rate it a 9 out of 10 because it could have added a little bit more. But still, I love this book. 3. I Survived... The Nazi Invasion, 1944. This is one of the most roughest books ever created by Lauren Tarsha. But it's implemented so well. But it's also one of the most darkest books out there. But the reason why I put this one top is because it just, it just really focuses well on the World War II style. And it's, while it's a sad book, it's definitely a book that definitely implements what World War II is. It's a tough book to read, but once you do learn it, then you'll understand what World War II was back in the day. Two, I survived the San Francisco earthquake, 1906. This was my very first I survived book that I've ever read, and I still enjoy it to this very day. I even have a copy of it, and while I don't read it anymore, it was really good back then. It's just so good. It has so much stuff that captured what it was during that time when San Francisco was in an earthquake. And while it was a sad time, it definitely captured what it was back in the day. One, I survived the attacks of September 11, 2001. This is the most popular I survived book. And it's also my favorite in the entire series because it really captures what it was back then in 2001 on this deadly day it but it really captures it and it's just so good to read and 
it is was a deadly attack, but it still captured what 9-11 was. Thanks for watching my ranking, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.